Hey y'all, welcome back. If you all are new here, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be playing in makeup. I got some new complexion products. I have one eyeshadow palette that I want to play in that is new in my collection. So let's just jump right into it. I am going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Absolute New York Brow Pencil in Smoke from the Beauty Supply Store. I know one of you all asked me if this is from Ruby Kisses. No, this is Kiss New York. So this is one out of the four palettes. I already tried on one. You guys see me try that out in a video. I'm going to be trying out the nude palette. This is the Make Me Nude palette. You can't get this palette from your local beauty supply store or you can purchase it online. I'm going to start off with the color Top Secret. Well, it's nice and soft. And so I gotta stop using my middle finger to swatch. <laughs> but um, that is the perfect transition color. So we're gonna start off with that first. Next color I'm going to use, I'm going to use it to deepen up my crease. I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Hard. Definitely have to build this brown up. It's coming up lighter. This is like a medium brown, but it looks really dark in the palette. So, but you definitely have to build it up. I'm going to go back into that first shade and just blend everything out. I'm going to use this color right here called Bear. I'm going to use that and I'm going to put that all over the lid. And this is just a creamy nude shade. I would have cut my crease, but I don't feel like it. But I think next time when I try this shade, I'm definitely going to cut my crease with some white concealer. Because I know it'll pop. Let's have some fallout as you guys can see. This color right here definitely needed like some sort of base underneath because it's really powdery in my opinion. Like it's so much kick up in the in this color itself. So um but we're going to fix it. I'm going to go over this shadow with this color right here called Role Play. I'm going to take a little bit of that and put it on the outer part right here. I do want to add some glitter. I want to add this color right here called Tease. I'm going to take some glitter glue from NYX. And I'm going to put the glitter like in my crease area. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to take this silicone brush. I'm going to use that to put the glue up here. All right, so I'm going to add this glitter. Like I said, it's called Tease. And I'm just going to put that where I put the glue. And I'm using a angled brush and I'm just stamping it on
for a primer, I'm gonna use the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer. I'm gonna go in with the No Pore Blim Primer from Touch and Soul. And I'm just gonna use that like around my nose area and where I have pores. Super excited about this because this is a new foundation and I feel like people are starting to talk about it now. And I was excited when I seen it on Ulta, so I went ahead and picked it up. This is the About Face, the Performer um, Skin Focus Foundation. I have the color, I picked up the color, I think it's like, okay, so I got D1 Neutral and I love this big applicator. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. So this might work. Let's see. Let me make sure I get my chin really good. I'm gonna spray my face with the Morphe Prep and Set Mist before I blend out my foundation. Okay, so I went in with kind of like two layers of this foundation. So my first impression, um, this is light coverage. It's not full coverage at all because I still see like my mole up here. I have some dark spots over here that I see. Now in the camera, this looks, it looks off. It looks a little green, a little yellow. Um, it looks off to me in the camera looking in the mirror perfect match when I go back and look at the footage it could be different other than that like looking at it right now in the mirror it looks like the perfect match but like I said in the camera it just look yeah it just look like a difference um, but like I said it's due to like lighting and everything and whatever the case may be like I said, coverage is light. It might be transfer. It looks like it's going to transfer. So my hands is ashy as hell. So you can see. <laughs> you can you can see that. Um, to the touch, it doesn't feel matte. But it, it feels like it's a combination of like it's going to be like. It feels like it's a combination of like maybe matte and a little bit of hydrate. Like a hydrating. Um foundation but not too hydrating i feel like if you prep your skin like if you have oily skin i feel like if you prep it very well to conceal your oils i feel like you can get a nice amount of wear out of this i'm going to go ahead and conceal y'all see me use this plenty of times this is um, from kiss full cover concealer highly recommend these are so good i'm going to use the shade warm Co coconut and warm honey go in with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder I'm still trying this out I just got it not too long ago I tried it out once so I'm gonna go ahead and try it again I want to try the Morphe bake and set setting powder in brightening pink take a brush and just lightly go underneath the eye 
Mm, I don't see nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go over my lid with a different eyeshadow because as you guys can see, it is fading. So um, that eyeshadow, it definitely needs a base because it doesn't work well alone. I'm gonna set my face with the Kiss Mattifying Primer and Translucent Deep. We're going to go ahead and contour and bronze the face. I'm going to use the Morphe 2 Sun and Done Smooth Gliding Bronzer Stick. And this is new from Morphe. And this is in the color Cocoa Coast. Right there a little bit. Oh, now, now, why you put that much? Oh, be doing the most, honey. This is definitely like a contour shade on me. So, yeah, it's a contour shade. I wish they had like some in between shades. Ugh, this is gonna be hard trying to use this hand. <laughs> My hand is messed up. Yeah, this is definitely a contour shade for sure. I'm just gonna take what's ever left and put it on the forehead, but we're gonna warm up the face with a bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's Place Bronzer in Dark Deep. Just wanna go in and kinda bronze up the face. I wanna try out the LA Girl Rosy Glow Envy Bouncy Blush. And this is in the color Rosy Glow. The texture of this blush is moussey. It goes to a matte. Now y'all know I swatched this in my Ulta haul and I said it was ashy but I'm still gonna <laughs> I'm still gonna try it I was gonna use this stippling brush to put it on because of the texture but I don't know I don't know let's try this brush here first this is just like a duo ended brush and then maybe I'll go in with the stippling brush and I could just use a beauty blender too maybe I should do that I'm gonna use the end of a beauty blender and call it a day so that's what it looks like and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand first and then put it on my face Wow do you see nope no ma'am do you see do you see that yeah no it was ashy like I said I'm just gonna go into the palette and I'm gonna find a color in here to use I'm gonna use this color right here top secret as a blush I'm gonna use this as a blush because that was a no-no no ma'am yeah that's there you go that's a little bit better like I don't know what that was so I did try on the highlighter y'all know that this works so I'm gonna go ahead and use this highlighter is pretty I will say this is kind of it's kind of glittery it does have glitter in it. it it's pretty though like I'm still gonna wear it take this color called naughty I'm gonna take that and we're going to use that to replace the color that's on the lid because that's not working for me all right so it's time to do the lips I have this about face lip liner um, I got the color what is it? I got the color Smoke. So this is very smooth. Like the formula is really smooth. Alright, and for my lips, I got the NYX Duck Plump Lip Gloss. And this is in the color Bang Bangin' Bear. Ooh, it smell hot. It smelled like, you know, the cinnamon gum. Y'all know that gum that smell like cinnamon. That's what it smelled like. So it's really pretty so far. Um, the plumping, I can feel it instantly, like the minute you put it on your lip. Um, so far, I can tolerate it.
how do you guys like it do you like the foundation do you like the way it looks um it looks pretty good um i went back like when i got off camera and kind of you know fix my hair up a little bit um i was feeling my face and so it does feel matte i do want to try it out tomorrow like do a full wear test and everything like that um so if i do i will add that in this here video but i'm just trying it out today so it does feel matte on the skin and it does feel lightweight but i just my opinion i still feel like i i like i know like i still feel like i got foundation on because i have tried really lightweight foundations and it just feel like i don't have on anything i don't have on anything but i don't know i don't know i don't know why i still feel like it's lightweight but i feel like i have it on but it's not annoying at all this foundation is only 22 dollars, i believe so you're getting a good deal as far as this nyx lip plumping the plumping is not bothering me at all i've tried something that burned my lips before but this is not annoying i can tolerate this um the lip liner is fine i do like the morphe i do like the bronzer is really more of a contour on me but as you blend it in and spray your face and all that other stuff it does settle to a nice kind of snatch look the morphe powder i have to keep using this because i'm i don't know <laughs> i don't know if it brighten or not that eyeshadow that i put on my lid it needs a base it can't be used by itself it's really chalky so next time i use it i'm going to use a base underneath but other than that the glitter and everything turned out really nice that's a nice glitter the glitter was really nice it went on actually the glitter was kind of really kind of soft like because i know some glitters some pressed glitters can be hard but this glitter kind of went on it was kind of soft i forgot about that damn blush don't can't even use it as an eyeshadow that was ashy like i don't mind the formula and the texture but who is that for because no i didn't see color i just saw ash so let's talk about this foundation i did a full wear test the next day and i don't like this foundation it's going back i put on this foundation like around 11 20 and this is roughly like around 145 and I'm already getting oily. Everything looks bland. It's kind of like one color. It's very see-through. I'm slowing down this clip so you guys can see. Like all of my marks are starting to show. If you could tell on my forehead, I'm creasing I'm creasing underneath my eyes really bad. Like the the bronzer is gone. Like it's just weird. It just look greasy. Um I did come back on camera like around maybe maybe 3 34 o'clock just to show you guys in the bathroom what it looks like so i did go ahead and blot a little bit with some tissue that's all i had and yeah it's just it looked like i did like a little tinted moisturizer it, it's not giving foundation so this will be going back to the store i didn't like the way it had me looking like a grease ball throughout the day so i decided to do a wear test on the about face foundation and that is what is on my face today so i tried out the foundation for the first time when i did like a first impression when i did the video yesterday it is the next day i have tried this foundation for a full day i had this on for about nine to ten hours and this is what i am looking like <laughs> this is what the foundation looks like i don't like it I say within two hours, it started to get really oily. It like underneath my eyes was creasing. As you guys can see, like I said, it's light to medium coverage. Like everything is just fading. I just look like a grease ball. I did blot with some tissue because that's all I had on me when I went to the bathroom. And everything was just creasing. It just was looking a greasy mess. Everything is like gone. It's fading away. So for that reason, I am taking this back. It is a nice foundation, but it's just not nice for me. It doesn't mean that you can't try it, but this is just a full day of makeup. For me, this foundation is like flat. You know, like all foundation is flat until you start to contour and highlight. But it was just looking flat. Like it all blended out to one color. Like you really couldn't see my highlight anymore. Like 
like it's fading away throughout the day so i don't like that for that reason i'm going to take this back i'm not going to keep this in my collection i am an oily girl but there's plenty of times that i have put on foundation and at the end of the day my makeup still looks good um my oils will come through where it usually comes through it but it don't look nothing like this and it just looks bad it looked like i didn't put on my makeup properly so it just didn't work out for me and that's fine this is why i don't purchase a lot of foundations because if it don't work i gotta take it back and i hate taking stuff back and i'm always losing my receipts and stuff but i'm taking this back monday and it just didn't work out i hope they take it back because i threw the box away i don't want this yeah I, I i just can't do anything with this and i really wanted this to work i'm gonna go ahead and um, blot my face right now it's like what is there to blot because like the foundation is gone and see if that would help but yeah that's what it had me looking like a hot mess just look flat and it just had like that oxidizing kind of look and then it started to get oily everything started to fade away now that i blot a little bit it doesn't even make a difference my experience with this no this is this for me this can't be trusted um going to a event or just trying to look cute for the day like i just can't trust this i wanted to come back and let you guys know about the foundation that it did not work for me and it doesn't look good on my skin it doesn't work well with my skin <sighs> yeah because like if i'm gonna wear makeup like i at least want it to look good but this wasn't it like it's not full coverage like i like all of this is showing through as you guys can see like where's the foundation it is gone like look at that you can still see all all of that is still showing but anyways i'll talk to you guys in a new video make sure you guys comment down below subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye